more of a vibe. Do they always act like this? Hey guys, it's your girl Nessa. Welcome back to another video. And I have for you guys today a story time. So if you haven't watched my vlogs yet, definitely check out my vlogs. Check out this hair. I will have it linked below for you guys. And I actually have a video about this hair. So definitely check that out. Ew. So I have a little bit of wine, a little bit of hookah. And we're going to do like a chit chat, vibing, drinking wine, smoke a hookah type of vibe. So I have Stella Rose here. This is the big bottle. Like this, is the, this is the big daddy bottle. Uh, I want to see which one has less alcohol because I'm not trying to get drunk tonight. I have to work tomorrow. Clearly Stella Rose have less. Stella Rose have 5%. This has 6.5%. It's not a lot, but me personally, I can I get drunk pretty fast. So we're going to drink a little bit of Stella Rosies. I haven't opened this because I bought it. And I, <gasps> it's red, so I don't want it to spill because you guys know red wine stains. Tea or whatever. And I have water. Um, Personally, whenever I drink wine and hookah together, I get really lightheaded, but I'm doing it for y'all. So I got my hookah here going, and then we can kind of get started with the video. Um, well, get started with the story time. My robe is from Victoria's Secret. I don't know if you guys can see. Victoria's Secret model. Yeah, so let's get started with the story time. Okay, so, so the story time is basically going to be about my first celebrity makeup, doing her makeup experience. This was a few years ago. The way that I got the gig was actually through another makeup artist. There was this makeup artist. I don't know if you guys know her. Uh, her name is Jazz, Miss Jazz. I love her. She's super sweet, super very, very humble, very, very helpful. Uh, especially helpful for me because when she moved out of my city, she let me do her makeup. I was be I was so nervous, y'all. I did her it took me three hours to do her makeup. But I ended up doing Jazz's makeup. And she was very, very helpful, very sweet. Every time I needed advice or for something that had to do with something with makeup related, I always reached out to her. So one day, it was actually yeah, it was the day of, if I'm not mistaken. One of the promoters actually reached out to me, was like, Hey, so and so is coming to town. We need her we need you to do her makeup. Mind you guys, it was already at 6 o'clock at night and I was just like, you know what, bitch, I'm gonna go because I need this for my portfolio. I need this for my Instagram page. So I was like, I'm trying to, at the time, I was trying to build up my um, clientele, trying to build up my Instagram. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. So I told them like, yeah, I'll do it. Then I wrote Jazz like, hey, they just asked me to do so-and-so's makeup. How much should I charge? I don't know what to charge. It's my first time ever doing this. I think I just did it based off of my price but double so i charged one her charge i charged a celebrity 150 i remember i charged her 150 mind you guys they already contacted me super late at six o'clock in the afternoon i had to be at her hotel by nine so i had to get ready myself mind you it's the first time i ever did a celebrity's makeup so i was like i need to be cute i need to be beat let me wear all black i want to look professional i said i want to be professional i want to look professional i want to look cute just because first impressions is everything so uh, then i go to the shop get all my my stuff and then i go to her hotel i think it was at a hotel yeah it was at a hotel because i end up having to i remember i had to pay for valet so me personally i don't charge 150 no more for celebrities um my price rates at $200 just because you're paying for your time nine times out of ten they're gonna want you to come later than 10 o'clock and honestly they were like do you want to do free promo or do you want to get paid I don't really care too much about promo if I get a good picture saying that I did the girls makeup I'm cool with that but I still want to get paid so I remember I had to pay for valet. I get there. Mind you guys, I'm trying to be very professional. You know, this is my first celebrity. I'm nervous as fuck. Like, I'm so nervous because it's just like I never experienced it before. So it's like my first time. I was so nervous. So I walked in. I had, mind you guys, I carry a lot of shit whenever I travel. That's why I don't like traveling. That's why it is a flat rate of 200 No matter who you are, it's $200. If it's extra people, it's still another $200. So I had my, I didn't have my makeup chair. I didn't bring my makeup chair. I bought a ring light. 
in my makeup case and it was I was carrying two big ass bags I'm walking in like kind of like hey I'm like hey girl how are you she was like I'm good you can just say your stuff right there so I'm like okay so she's sitting she's getting her hair done and she's sitting in one of those computer desk chairs so she sits in a computer desk chair she has a nasty attitude I could tell she has an attitude already because she had her headphones in and she's literally she's on her phone like this Hey, you can see your stuff right there. I was like, okay. So she was being rude already before I even walked in. Because, you know, I'm going to be polite. I know good customer service. My parents raised me to be nice. So I'm going to be nice. I'm like, okay. So I'm setting my stuff up. She's getting her hair done. And then after I'm done setting my stuff up, I'm like kind of looking at her. And then I look at the hairstylist. And then the girl was like... You can start doing my makeup. I said, uh, okay. And I asked her, I was like, is there a particular look that you're going for, that you're wearing tonight? And then the stylist, he was like, oh, she's wearing this, this, and this. Try to match it up to this. So I was like, okay, cool. I said, I got an idea. So I started doing her makeup. She's still on her phone. Mind you guys, I'm literally bending over my back. Like, I'm real life like this. Mind you, I'm standing up. I'm literally like this, doing her makeup. My back was killing me. So... She's sitting down. She's like this. So she's texting a dude, like, real life, like, arguing with him. So then she looked like she's doing this text and she looks up and she's like, So how long have you been doing makeup? I said, oh, I've been doing makeup, you know, for a while. Now I've been doing it for a few years professionally. But I've been doing makeup for a little over, you know, like, nine years. She's like, oh, okay. So that goes by. It took me two hours to do her makeup because first of all her head was down she's getting her hair done sh done at the same time so it's very hard to do that especially if the person is not sitting at a right level so I can like get her angles right so I had to constantly keep pushing her head up it was so annoying and then out of nowhere she get the singing and girl she just get the singing like her her mood just changed like dramatically but I forgot to tell you this, before her mood changed, the stylist was kind of like, you know, feeling the vibes that she was like in a bad mood. The stylist was like, he basically was just like putting her in check like, I don't know how you want your hair done. You ain't trying to communicate, blah, blah, blah. So she kind of giggled it off a little bit and then she got the, then she finally like, you know, tried to be talkative. And then I remember she was, yeah, so she, the stylist said something to her, basically was just like saying like, you know, you're making my job harder than what it is. So I was kind of glad that the stylist spoke up because then she kind of like loosened up a little bit. But she was still was like ignoring me. Like it was just so rude. Like she was being so rude to me. Like I just don't know. I didn't even do anything wrong. Like I get it. You're in a bad mood. But you shouldn't be pissed off at somebody that you don't even know because you're pissed off at your dude. Because later on she says like. Yeah I'm sorry y'all. I'm just pissed off at my dude right now. We're going back and forth. Whatever. whatever. So I'm like okay. So I'm doing her makeup. And then. The stylist is finally done with her hair. I'm still doing her makeup because it just... Being a makeup artist and having your clients sit at a certain angle is hard to do their makeup. It's hard. It's, it's just hard. Like, it's not realistic to be able to get their makeup perfect. Mind you guys, this is my first time doing a... Celebrity. Makeup. A celebrity's makeup. And I'm just like, I wanted to do this perfect. I want her makeup to be beat. I want her to love it. As she's, her hair is done, I finally finished her makeup. Mind you guys, the hairstyle that the girl was getting done was a fucking ponytail. I get it. Ponytails are still hard, but it's, it's a fucking ponytail. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. I, was, I showed her. I actually gave her a little mirror. I was like, do you like it? She literally looked at it and was like... I'm gonna go get changed. I was like... <gasps> my heart just like shattered because it's just like... She didn't even acknowledge me. She didn't even say thank you. She didn't say yeah or nothing. She literally was like, I'm gonna get dressed. Literally, I was <laughs> just thinking about it. Like, the way I felt, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, this bitch really just treated me. Like, I was just like, just, just like, just like, I'm a worker. Like, I just work for her. Like, I was, I was so hurt. Like, I was hurt as fuck. So then I kind of was like, okay. So I started just packing my stuff up. I really didn't say too much. Um, the only person that I really knew in there was like the stylist. But I really never really had a conversation with the stylist. The hairstylist and the stylist, the one that was dressing her. We kind of spoke a little bit. And I put on the, actually, I put on the, the lashes for the hair, the, the stylist that was dressing her. And the stylist was like, oh my god, her makeup's beat, you know, don't feel too bad that she didn't say anything, it looks good, blah, blah, blah. So then I, after I was done packing my stuff, I kind of just stood there, and then her manager was like, she turned to me, she's like, she like her makeup. 
I was like, huh? She's like, she like her makeup. I was like, okay. So then the girl gets dressed. Her mood changes. She's just like in the bestest mood. Walking around, stunning around, blah, blah, blah. So I, I walked up to her when she was by the bathroom looking at her stuff in the mirror. I'm like, I was like, is it cool if I, you know, get a picture of you? Mind you, it's me. I'm talking to the girl. The manager's standing right next to me. She looks at me. She looks at the manager. And then she looked at me again. And she looked at the manager. And she did not acknowledge me not once. She's not even looking at me anymore. She's looking at the manager. was like, I don't want no pictures taken. So I was like, what the f***? I was just so confused, like, why she was treating me so bad. I still don't know why she was treating me like that. Like, I was just so confused. I don't know if I would, came in too polite or what. Like, so the manager, then the manager turns to me. She's like, you just get pictures from when they take it uh, at the club. Oh, and then I didn't tell you guys. So when I was in the bedroom, right, I recorded her off my phone, like, because she was in the bathroom. And I was just like, period. Like, not even say period. I said, okay. Like, I was like, you know, geeking her up. Why the manager stepped in front of my phone while I was recording, stepped in front of my phone like this, and was like, delete that. I was just like, okay. So she literally, like, real life watched me, like, delete the video out of my phone. I'm like, do they always act like this? So then I finally realized, like, after the after I left, I'm like, the reason why she's treating me like that because I charged her $150. Bitch, you're getting paid to be at, to host at a club. And she was treating the stylist, like the hairstylist, like so good, like just giggling with them. Going, like they all went to the club together. I didn't even want to go anyways, but she was just so mean to me. And I found out that the hairstylist never got paid for that gig. And that's part of why she was treating him like that because she was tagging him his stories and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. That was my first experience with the celebrity makeup artist. It was like the worst experience ever. I feel like personally me since i've been doing makeup for a long, long time and especially experience a lot of like celebrities doing their makeup and stuff i would never ever ever do makeup for a celebrity i appreciate my clients because they appreciate me those celebrities they literally treat you and belittle you so bad but my other experiences with a lot of other people for example dream doll i love dream doll you guys were assuming that was dream doll it's not dream doll you guys dream doll is literally the sweetest person in the world like honestly if i i know i said earlier that i would never do it but if dream doll was to ask me to go with her and travel with her do her makeup i would do it just because dream doll treated me like we were friends like she hugged me we like we just were comfortable around each other but that other girl if you follow me on instagram and you go down you'll know who it is she was just such a <laughs> then a few months later <laughs> had the nurse to dm me and say can you do my makeup no i'm not doing your makeup i literally didn't even reply back to her because i was in atlanta at the time and she messaged me i was like can you do my makeup and i didn't reply back to her like i don't care about the money i want you to respect me be polite to me i'm not being rude to you i don't want you to be rude to me like if you're giving me rude vibes i never want to ever I ever never ever ever want to work with you again so then i never wrote back to her then she came back to my city and she messaged me like you do my makeup and i didn't reply back like no i don't want to do your makeup like you are so rude to me so like people are just so rude like she was so rude she just act like so up top like really girl you with that experience, that makes me, like, that made me really realize, like, because before that, I used to be like, oh my god, I want to do makeup for, like, celebrities. I want to do makeup for this. No, I wouldn't want to do it because they literally are so disrespectful. Honestly, Dream Doll and Carly, Carly, Carly from um, Young Thug's girlfriend were honestly the two, like, greatest people I ever met in my life. And I'm so happy I was able to meet them. Like, I love Dream Doll. I love Carly. Carly is her name. Carly. They're like the sweetest, most genuine, and very like, just sweet people. Like they literally made me very comfortable. They made it seem like we were friends. That's what I like because I treat, that's how I treat my clients. Like I treat my clients like we're friends. I talk to them like we're friends. I don't ever like try to belittle anyone because it's just like, I know how it feels. I know how it feels. So the way that that girl treated me made me like never ever like, ever never ever ever make me want to like do her makeup again and i don't give a f the same exact way with like clients 
Honestly, out of all my seven years of doing makeup, I probably had two girls only that told me they didn't like their makeup. Since I started doing makeups for like, you know, people that are like hosting for clubs in the area that I live in, I never ever charge. Either the promoter's gonna pay me or the person's gonna pay me. Like period, because I'd rather get paid than get pro promotions because some people like half-ass promotions. Like I don't want a story promotion. I want you to actually post me on your page, tag me in it, and post me on your story. But I feel like people are so stingy with like that they be thinking like, oh, they're just trying to get some clout. I mean, that's what promotion's about. But I promote myself, so that's why I really never really cared about promotions because I could promote myself. I'm not gonna say who the girl is. Let me see if she's still on my Instagram because I posted her and I even wrote like a long ass caption and the wench didn't even like my picture or nothing. Like I was just so disappointed. She was just so mean to me and her breath stank. I was just like, wow, like this lady's real life a bitch. But honestly, like she was to message me like, I'll fly you out. I want you to do my makeup. I'll t I'll literally tell her no, just because she literally gave me the worst experience ever. It really discouraged me a lot, and then I kind of like vented to my mom a little bit. My mom's like, you know, people just have nasty attitudes. It's just like there's nothing you could do about it. So if you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Amy Waynessa. Period. I actually have a picture of her on my page literally it was the worst experience ever like i had another worst experience too where i was i had to go do um i don't even consider her a celebrity she's just like an instagram model i had to do her makeup she was so bratty i was just like what the fuck so mind you guys usually for like when you're doing makeup or like anything you're supposed to be there from like 9 9 30 ish so i got there at 8 45 because i feel like when you get there on time which is nine o'clock you're technically late because you still have to set your stuff up so i got there a little early because i knew i had to set my stuff up the girl literally i knew she was a brat because she, first off she told the hostess that she needed two rooms she needed a room for herself and a room to get her makeup or hair done get in there i'm setting my stuff up i set i sit there for an hour and a half i didn't start doing her makeup till 10 30 so she was very bratty she was i don't want you to use your makeup i want you to use my makeup so i was like okay that's fine cool like shit i'm still getting paid so i'm using her makeup i don't want eyeshadow no neither i was like okay so i literally did the most simple makeup but she was just like so demanding i'm just like lady if you don't first off you could have did your own makeup period like i just don't like how people like think they can literally talk to anybody any type of way because you think you're bigger than them. I don't. F I feel like a lot of known people is like that. They just think they're the shit and whatever. I don't know. Every chance that I get to do somebody's makeup, I take that chance because it's just like, why not? I love the, you know, you guys know I like to network with people, talk to people, get to know and meet new people. That's my experience. So that like literally like blew me and it just made me like realize that celebrities ain't shit literally think they're just so much better sometimes it's, i mean so it's, there's, there's a good amount of people that are actually really nice very friendly that treat you like friends but a lot of them literally like belittle you and just make you feel like you're really nobody and i that's why i appreciate doing my clients and having clients that appreciate me because my clients be honored to let me do their makeup like you know and that makes me like happy as because it's just like they be so excited for me to do their makeup and for her, she was just like, whatever, I'm gonna do my makeup, hurry up, no, you can't get no pictures. Like, I was just like, damn, shorty, like, it's like that? So, I don't know. I don't know if that girl was in a bad mood, but like I said, I would never do her makeup again. Just from, like, the first experience of me doing her makeup, it was terrible. You shouldn't treat nobody like that. If you're in a bad mood, leave that shit at home because at the end of the day, this is it's a business trip. Anything that has to do with, like, my personal life, if I'm in a bad mood about my personal life, I won't talk as much, but I'm not going to be rude to someone that I don't even know because I'm having a bad day. And then sometimes I would even tell some of my clients that before I even do the makeup, like, yeah, like, I'm sorry if I'm not talking today. I'm just kind of like, you know, not in the best mood. I just want to like, give you a heads up type shit. But so yeah, that was my experience. If you're a makeup artist... Tell me your experience of doing somebody's makeup that gave you a real bad first impressions because I like to read you guys stories about that because I just, 
you know, I can relate. I'm pretty sure a lot of my makeup artists is part can relate. So, that's my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And mind you guys, I slayed her makeup. Her makeup was flawless. Like, flawless. Yeah, that's it for that story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little teensy. But, like I said, I'm not going to say her name because I'm not going to give her no clout off of that. So yeah, that's it for today's story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this a little story time, little tea, or whatever. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, if you're a makeup artist or if you're a hairstylist, any type of stylist that had to deal with a celebrity that was real nasty to you, to you tell me your story because I want to read it. I want to be nosy just like y'all. Purr, purr. So, yes, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys. You guys are the best. You guys mean the world to me. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. So, I'm about to, you know, finish my drink. I really didn't even drink that much. Hmm. And. Period.